Welcome to HQ How To, your ultimate guide to caring for your home. Preserve your investment by following these essential home maintenance tips. Here's our customer experience manager to show you how to. Hi, it's Cheryl, your customer experience manager for Hunter Quinn Homes, here with an HQ How To about light bulbs and light fixtures in your home. As you may have noticed when you moved in, you have several different fixtures depending on the room that you're in. Each fixture is gonna require a different light bulb. We do install LED light bulbs in all of our fixtures. We do recommend that should one go out after a couple of years that you replace with an LED fixture as well. You have a couple of options. These are gonna be your standard LED light bulbs with a standard base. They're gonna come in a bright white, soft white, and daylight. There are also a few other options, but these are gonna be your most common three. When picking an area that you're gonna be in, if you want high levels of light, use your bright white or your daylight options. I prefer a soft white for a sitting area or a bedroom where you want low light for relaxation. To change one of these bulbs, it's pretty standard. Much like in this fixture, you're gonna unscrew, turning counterclockwise, pull out the old bulb, insert your new bulb. You're gonna also have the potential to have floodlights or spotlights as some people like to call them. There are wet rated and interior bulbs. It's gonna be important that you look on your package to ensure that whichever bulb you have goes with whatever product you're using. Most of our lights, we recommend using an exterior light bulb. That's gonna help the longevity of the fixture itself as well as your light bulb. Several of our kitchen light fixtures use what's called a candelabra bulb. It's gonna be one of these. It's gonna have a smaller base and it's gonna give you a lot of extra light depending on the room temperature that you use. Again, a soft white, a daylight, or a bright white. We also use LED recess fixtures. Your recess light fixtures are gonna be the one that are flush with your ceiling. They're gonna disappear when you're looking across a room. If you should ever need to replace one, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy one at the store out of a box. You're gonna take it out. It comes attached with this screw in, which looks like your traditional bulb. You don't need that. You can unplug it, and this is the section of the light fixture you're gonna need. You're gonna pull down the one that's in the ceiling. When you do, you'll see these two side clamps. Push them in and pull it down. Once you have that, you'll see the orange clip. Remove the orange clip of the existing light and replace it with your current light. Once you're ready to install back in, you're gonna take your side clips, push in, and up into the ceiling. It's as easy as that. We have several pendants that are gonna have glass covers on them. They're gonna be a little more difficult to change than your average one. You're gonna to wanna to be careful not to drop the glass. I always suggest if you have somebody that can help you, that's a great idea. But you're gonna to wanna to use one hand to hold the glass in place as you turn the nut on the bottom of the fixture. Turn the nut counterclockwise to loosen. Be aware that there is a washer on the bottom of this light that may fall to the floor. You can remove the glass. Go ahead and change your light bulb as normal. There's also a washer located on the inside of the glass fixture. When you're ready to put it back, put your washer over the hole and place up against the screw. Once you have everything lined up, your glass fixture will slide back on. Place your other washer back on the bottom. And then take your nut and screw on clockwise until hand tight. You don't need to over tighten, a nice hand snug will do. This fixture is also similar to what we have in several of our bedrooms, which is called a surface mount light. The same process, you're gonna unscrew the nut, holding the globe, and remove. Replace the bulb, put your glass back on, and screw to secure. And that is how you take care of all the light bulbs and the fixtures in your home. For more tips and tricks, you can always visit our website or our YouTube channel. See you later. Thanks for watching today. We look forward to sharing more home maintenance tips on the next HQ How To.